Hello again, I am here with another unboxing for you. This one is a jewelry box and it's a 50 count jewelry box from King Kong Wholesale. Uh, I had a really good coupon code so I decided that I would order from them even though I usually go for the Catch and Deals jewelry boxes. They're a little bit cheaper per item but um, it's pretty hard to mess up a jewelry box so I figured I'd go ahead and order from King Kong since I had that coupon code. Um, anyways, I'm going to try to make this as short as I can. There's no guarantees. Um, you know, it's a 50 count box. There's a lot to look at and not all of them are easy to show you. So we'll just see how we can, how we do here. All right. So the first one up is a little pendant necklace. I believe that's a Catholic figure of some kind. I could be wrong. So don't be offended. I don't know. <laughs> Hard to tell. Um, all right, then we have this little necklace here. It's just kind of a little simple thing there. All right, let's see. Then we have these. These are like little hairpins, kind of. And I believe earrings that match them. Kind of cool. Um, the brand on it is Chick Ad Pink. I haven't been able to find anything on them, but I figure I can take some pictures and put it in the garage sale. This is um, just a little multi pack of size 8 rings. You can see there's just little, little simple things. As you can see, this is why it's going to take a little bit longer. It's a little bit harder to get these things out. This is a cute little necklace. And it's got a little horse with a girl there. I believe that's a girl. Could be wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and I believe it's got like a little, can't see it very well, little pink jewel in the horse's eye. It's pretty cute. Got another one. I think this is it. It's pretty similar to it. Uh oh, I'm dropping things already. Ah, uh, yes. This one is about the same. It is a little horse pendant, but there's two. I believe it's two horse heads. No, it's just a horse and a person's face. It's really cute. It's a uh, hard to see there, but shaped in a heart. One side is a face, one side is the horse. These things are pretty interesting. They're like bracelet cuffs. And then they got this little dangly thing. I'm not quite sure. It's very costume, jewelry like. It's pretty light flimsy metal but it would be really kind of fun all right these are gauges for your ear i believe um 12 millimeter these are this is just a multi-pack of different uh earrings like these are kind of the clip-on earrings I don't know if you can see them they just kind of loop around up here on your ear and there's a bunch of them in there this is a little necklace that says 2003 these are little tiny earrings they're very hard to see. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see them in there from a camera, but they're itsy bitsy. There's like some stars and yeah, looks like they're all stars actually. Different kind of stars, but I get a lot of those tiny little earrings in these boxes. Um, they sell pretty well at the flea market. 
Okay, these are ones that I wanted to talk to you about. So this bracelet is actually a, like a, a fake of a brand name. Um, so you gotta be really careful with some of these. Uh, I remember I was trying to list it and I did a reverse image lookup and it came up with like this brand name. It's obviously not a brand name. You can tell by the, you know, <laughs> the tag there. They don't scan. Um, I sell mine at the flea market for cheap. Uh, I do not put a brand name on it or anything. Um, the ring is the same. It's got the same design and everything. So those usually go up at the flea market. These, this is a big multi-pack of like um, croc, you know, little croc shoe um, decorations that you can stick in the holes. <laughs> Whatever you call them. Charms. There we go. Shoe charms. Anyways, there's a bunch of them in there. They're really hard to get out, so I'm not going to make you look at each one. Um, but I think there's like 10 in that in that box. We got some more tiny little earrings here. Oh my goodness, these ones don't want to come out of the... There we go. Yeah, it looks like some moons and stuff like that. Very hard to get a good view of, but... This is a little um, chain... Uh, lanyard with a monogram M on it. Actually, at two of those, I'll go ahead and show you the other one. The other one is an F. Okay. This is a little necklace with a butterfly. This one is just a little, uh, if I can get it to untangle, little choker necklace. It's actually really pretty. Um, it's kind of heavy too. Uh, it looks, looks good. I don't see any like damage on it. So, but there's also like no info on it. There's no info on the bag, no info on it. I don't have a brand, so I'm just going to kind of have to take pictures and Hopefully it'll sell. <laughs> it's hard when you don't have a brand name to sell anything. People don't usually like that. So. <laughs> um, this is a little necklace. I don't know if you can see it there. She's got a little circle. The black, black gem in there. This is a shell necklace. I have a ton of these, so I'll probably be putting these up in the garage sale. Actually, this one looks like it has a pearl, a little pearl. Okay, no, that's just the end of it. Anyways, but yeah, those always seem to be in every mystery box, jewelry mystery box I've gotten. A bunch of them. So if you need any shell necklaces, let me know. These are just little earrings. Pretty simple little earrings. Simple doesn't always mean bad. Okay, so this little thing, it's like a little dog tag. I'm going to take it out here, see if you can see it a little better. Because if you know, like if this is a certain character, let me know. <laughs> Because, again, there's not very much info on it. It just says anime. Um, and as you can see here, it says wanted. It's very hard to... There we go. It was like inside of a bag, inside of a bag. It's a little anime guy. It says wanted, dead or alive, Monkey D. Luffy. And I'll uh, look that up and see if I can find anything out about it. But kind of cool. I like to get unique things like that. This is just a big multi-pack of rings, just little simple gold rings. This is a little necklace with a cute little elephant. It's really cute. This is the same brand that made the little, the horse necklaces that I showed you earlier. Got a lot more coming. <laughs> These are more of those croc shoe charms. There. 
Again, that's just a big old multi pack. This is a multi pack of earrings. I won't make you look at every single one. They're just kind of costume, very um, kind of chunky costume jewelry. And they come in a really nice. A lot of these come in really nice gift boxes. They're really cute. Okay, here's one that is a little, this one's really cute. If I wore jewelry, I'd keep it for myself, but it's a C necklace and it's like black with little pink gemstones in there. Right. These are cute little earrings, little dangle earrings. This is a little anklet. Let me see if I can. The reason I'm not taking these out of these bags is because it takes so much time and it's so hard to get them out of there. But this one is really cute. So I wanted to show you. This is actually like a little baby bracelet. And it's just so cute and dainty. I don't know. It's, it's pretty cool. But there is also no brand on that. So... <laughs> This is another little bracelet. And that light reflecting off there makes it very hard to show you these. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got here. I think we're getting down towards the end of it. Getting there. This one doesn't want to open. Um, it says vintage wreaths on it. Um, I'll give you a, a tip to listing these. This jewelry here is always try to scan this barcode. This is an Amazon barcode. So you're not going to get it to scan anywhere but on Amazon. Um, some of these will scan. Most of these will not scan. Um, but you can, I, I usually do a Google search of the exact words on it. And sometimes you can find the item that way. Uh, and I usually list it with the stock photos that they have on there. And then I go and find the description it'll usually say what kind of material it's made out of and the measurements and everything so that helps you list it a lot easier wherever you're going to end up listing it all right so got a necklace that says libra got a few of these inspirational bracelet cuffs and i really like them um they're pretty cute but this one says, everything I am, you helped me to be. I think that's kind of like a Mother's Day gift. But I've got a few of those. And they're all different, but you can kind of tell from that one how they look. And I'll just show you the other ones just to save you some time. got two more of those. Alright, there's a cute little necklace. These are, I'm not going to be able to show you these because they're so tiny. A little cross earring. Oh, you can kind of see it. <laughs> yeah, those I actually have on eBay. Um, so I was able to pull them up. These things that I'm showing you right now, I've got them listed on eBay. And a lot of them are going to make me from like $5 each to about $20, was, I think was the max one that I listed. Um, but when you're paying like a dollar a piece, because this box was $50, so when you're paying a dollar a piece, that's a pretty good profit margin there, so that's why I like the jewelry boxes, but they take forever to sell. You're not going to sell these in a day, although I did sell one within a day, but usually you're not going to. They're usually going to sit. I have several that have been sitting for like a year or so. And this necklace says Barbara. I get a lot of the 
you know, name or letter jewelry. Um, again, another letter, it's T. This is a really cute pearl, well, fake pearl, um, anklet. Let me get that one's up on the way. This is, a. Uh, I I get this brand a lot, Cat Eye Jewels. And this one is just this little simple necklace with the letter J on there, but it's really cute. This is one of my favorites from this box. This is a little a bracelet. It's a very heavy, thick gold. Obviously not real gold, but <laughs> skull bracelet. It's got little stars that line it. Um, that one's on eBay. That's the one that's listed for about 20 bucks. So, let's see what we have left here. Just a few more things to go through. This is a necklace that says Roberta. I'm trying not to lose all this jewelry. It just wants to fall everywhere. All right, this is. Oh, that's really cute too. This is another little kid baby bracelet. It's kind of like harder but you see it doesn't clasp, you just kind of stretch it over their bracelet. It's got the letter D on it in the heart. It's really cute. Now remember, if you see anything in these videos that you like, that you um, want to purchase, you can just send me a message. Find me on uh, Facebook, NWA Frugal Finds, and you can send me a message and I will get you a price and if you're local, we can meet, or I can always ship them. These small ones are very easy to ship. It's a big item. I'm probably not going to ship it, but I can still let you know how much it would be locally. one out. Okay, so this is another like little monogrammed necklace. Like I said, I get a lot of those. And it's like a little compass that has the letter K in the middle of it. See that there? <laughs> I apologize. It's hard to get the camera to focus on these little tiny things. stuck with me this far, let me know what kind of box you want me to get next. I'm really thinking about getting the bathing suit box. Um, that one might be a little difficult to do an unboxing video of, but I could do my best. Um, oh man. I apologize. I'm running out of room over here. I have to, I have three more. Okay, here's another one of those top cups. This is the the bracelet with the inspirational sayings on it. The little bracelet bangle. Okay. So we've got two more. Almost done. Kept it under 30 minutes. That's not too bad. I was afraid it would be like 45 minutes long. Okay. These, this says eyeglasses. So I believe this is like an eyeglass chain. Yeah. Okay. That's what it is. These are really cute. Looks like there's three of them in there. That's coming back in style, I think. I don't know, I'm a little old, so maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just getting to that age where I like eyeglass chains. <laughs> oh, where did I put it? There it is. And here is the last one. Okay. I've not looked anything up with this one. Um, has a brain on there, Star. Star Chinny, I, Chinny, 
I don't know. I'm probably saying that wrong, but and it's a little cross necklace with a gold chain. This one looks like it could be one of those that I could make $20 off of or something. It looks very fine. Um, so I'll look that one up and the brand is on there. So that helps. All right. Well, that was it for the box. And that was 50 pieces of jewelry. Um, I have already started listing them. I mean, it's been sitting here for two to three weeks. So I've gotten like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of them listed. One of them is sold. Um, so, I mean, that's good news, but I've got a lot to work on. Um, and I will tell you though, on the pricing on these jewelry, it's pretty easy to, to guess. I've never really gotten any like high dollar items. People say they do but personally I've never seen any like high dollar brand name um, jewelry in here it's usually just small cheap stuff that's on Amazon that you're usually gonna be able to make if you can list it on eBay but something unique something cool um, that you can get a good picture of you list it on eBay you're usually gonna make from five dollars you know like I said up to about 20 I rarely see them selling for more than that unless you get some watches but Usually the watches are in the electronics boxes and not the jewelry boxes. Um, I get a lot of the watch bands, the silicone watch bands, and I put those up at my flea market for $3 a piece. Um, a lot of the more simple jewelry, the stuff that I don't think people are going to be looking for on eBay, um, or that I can't like find a good name for it. Um, that will catch attention. I'll put that in my flea market and I usually put those for two to two to three dollars. Um, there's been some like really big multi packs of like 10 earrings that I'll put for five bucks or so but um, and then I am gonna have a garage sale here pretty soon and a lot of this will probably go in the garage sale too. Uh, I think they might sell a little better at the garage sale but we'll see. I'll let you know. I'll update you after the garage sale and let you know how sales were. So thanks for watching. Bye.